Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cassie Johnson and my channel is all about helping to teach you how to start your very own Etsy and print on demand business from home. Today's video is going to be a review on Printify.com's tote bags. If you're not familiar with Printify.com, they are a print on demand company. So they are a website that brings together hundreds of printers from around the country that is integrated with Etsy. So you get to choose items like t-shirts and sweatshirts, pint glasses, tote bags, mugs, and you can put your design that you make on the computer on one of these items and then actually post it for sale on Etsy, but that item doesn't actually get made in real life until someone buys it, and that is what print on demand is. I did do a full review video for the Bella and Canvas 3001 shirts. I'll post a link to that video below. I did order eight different samples from eight different print providers and showed the results and what was best. And then I asked my community members what review you'd like to see next and 44% of you voted for tote bags, and so that's what the review for today is going to be. Feel free to post a comment of any items you'd like to see reviews for in the future though, and I'd be happy to make those as well. So tote bags can be a great addition to your Etsy store. You can list these at the exact same time as your t-shirts and sweatshirts and use the same exact SEO, but just change out the word shirt for tote bag. Or once something starts selling well, you can go ahead and add it to a tote bag as well. Anytime you have a best-selling design, it's a great idea to make different versions of it, add it to different t-shirt colors, add it to sweatshirts, and add it to tote bags. That way you can really capitalize on that winning SEO that you found. The designs for tote bags that I've personally had the most success with though are gifts for people. So think gifts for graduation, gifts for mom, or gifts for different professions like teachers. I picked two different tote bags from Printify to review today, and these really are the only two great options on there in my opinion. It was the all over print tote bag from MWW and the canvas tote from Monster Digital. Most of the rest of the tote bags are either very expensive or are made in other countries. So for this video, I did focus on US-based companies for these tote bags. I'm gonna compare these two tote bags on four different things. The overall quality, the options offered, the price, and the shipping time. Make sure to stay until the end because I'll go through what I would actually price these items as and how to upload designs to them the right way so you can decide which one is better for selling in your store. So starting with the all over print tote bag, I ordered two different versions of it. I ordered it with a single design on the front and the back of it in size medium, as well as an all over print version in size large. This tote does also come in a size small, so there are three size options with the all over print tote bag. The first one that I'll show you is the size medium with the design on the front as well as the back. And I'll go ahead and show you that PNG that I got off of creativefabrica.com. I did do a full review video off of Creative Fabrica. It will link that down below. Creative Fabrica has over 4 million graphics that you can use for your print on demand business. And I do have a link in the description for a $1 free trial for your first month. So definitely check that out if you have already. So here's how I placed the design on the all over print tote bag. So I went ahead and added it to this side and I stretched it almost from full side to full side and then you'll go ahead to put it on the opposite side of the bag. You'll push copy and then you will actually use this button here to spin it upside down to make sure that the other side is facing the correct way as well. And then I just kind of compare where this bottom of the green line is for this one and make this one line up in the same spot as well. And so then you'll go ahead and preview it. And it looks like the design is in a really good place on the bag. I think it looks really cute, but in the medium size, I feel like it actually was a little bit too big. So looking at the design here, it looks really nice, but when you're actually practically using it and the sides cave in a little bit, it kind of cuts off the P and really kind of loses some of it. So I think in redoing this, next time I would actually make the design a little bit smaller. And so I'll go ahead and show you what I would do for that instead. 
So instead of having it go all the way edge to edge, I think I'd actually recommend now seeing it in person, making it take up just the middle of the tote bag instead. And I think that would just be a more visually nice look to it instead of it getting cut off on the edges of the tote bag. The other great thing about the Oliver print tote bag is that you can do different colors. So you can select any of these background colors if you wanted the whole tote a different color than this kind of white canvasy color. And you can even type in your own code here if there's a specific color you want that's not shown. So unlimited options here. You could even upload a background pattern or color from Creative Fabrica or somewhere else that you could stack underneath a design. So definitely a lot of options with this one between the three sizes and being able to make it as big as you'd like and add any designs or colors. So for the all over print tote bag, I went on Creative Fabrica and just typed in all over prints. That way I could find a nice seamless pattern to go on the tote bag. And I found this one of these hand drawn lemons that I just thought was really, really cute. And so this one in the blue is the design that I chose to make. And so you can kind of see it here in the different colors. And then I'll show you the tote bag and how it turned out. So here is the actual tote bag. I believe the print is put on before the fabric because when you put in the seams, the design is all the way in the seams and the print is amazing. The color is just like the PNG. The detail is really nice and crisp. Here you can see it a little better there. So really happy with the overall quality of the print. It feels really nice. It doesn't feel like a print at all. I'd say the only gripe I have with the size large is that there's no pockets in here. So it is just kind of a big gigantic bag. I have one that I ordered just like this that I use as a beach bag, but I think it would have been really nice if there was some kind of little phone pocket or something inside of it, but it is just kind of like a shiny black fabric and fully empty. And I have gotten one or two complaints before on these handles. Most people are completely fine with them. I've sold hundreds of these, but they are just kind of like a cheap fabric handle. Not really what you'd think of for a tote bag, uh, but overall it has held up really well for me, the one that I have, and the print and everything on this is just perfect. So on to the review of the Canvas Tote, which is the Port Authority Tote from Monster Digital. This one, the PNG that I used, I got from Creative Fabrica as well. I got it from this Stay Positive bundle that I thought was just super, super cute. And I did this little butterfly. So just to show you the PNG a little larger here, it is really nice kind of muted colors, really nice saying here, little splatter. And so I'll show you how that actually printed onto the canvas material. So here is the canvas tote. I think the design printed very, very well onto the tote. The colors look really, really realistic to what the PNG looked like and I'm really happy with the overall material. I think this size and handle and everything is more of what people are typically expecting when they order, say, a tote bag or a little book bag. Um, you can only print on one side of it, and it is kind of see-through, as you can tell. So not the highest quality thing, but I think this, again, is what people are kind of expecting when they send something like this. And then I'll show you how to actually do the design on Printify. So here's the canvas tote within Printify. So it comes in just one color and here is your print area to put the design. So I tried to fill the design up as large as I could and you see it really is not gigantic on the tote bag, which is fine. That way you can see the whole design. It's kind of nice that you can't accidentally make it too gigantic like I did with my medium on the all over print. Um, overall, I think this is a really nice option. I think the print, like I said, is really nice. And then now we will go into the pricing and the shipping times to really compare the two. So I'm going to quote the price for these bags using the Printify premium discount that I get because anyone who's selling really over 20 items or 25 items per month, this really will pay off. I checked and it saved me $2.44 per all over print tote bag that I've sold in the past. And so it really does pay off to pay that $29 a month to get the discount on the products once you're selling. 
So the all over print tote bag has three prices since they have the small, the medium, and the large. The shipping for each of these options is $5.09. The small size was $8.16. So that was a total of $13.25 for the size small. It is a total of $15 for the size medium, so again, including shipping. And then the total including shipping for large was $16.29. Then on to the pricing for the canvas tote. That is $5.69 for the tote bag, plus $3.99 in shipping. So total, this bag is $9.68. And now onto the shipping times. The all over print tote bags were ordered on May 4th and were sent out on May 9th. So that was a six day turnaround time on the all over print tote bags. The canvas tote was also ordered on May 4th but was actually sent out on May 7th. So it was only a four day turnaround. So two days faster than the all over print tote bags. Now on to actually pricing these items. So for the all over print tote bag, I have my Etsy profit calculator here that I use in my Excel document. Um, this is something I might consider selling in the future if people are interested. I've got a profit calculator and then I've got uh, different things that automatically come up with my total income and expenses. So I put in my total sales, how many sales, my fees, and it'll tell me my total profit, my total profit per sale, and so on. So if you guys would be interested in having something like this yourself, let me know. Uh, but the selling price, I'd say, for the small all-over print tote bag is $22.99 because the cost of it was $13.25. So this calculates the Etsy fees for you, and you'd make a total profit profit of $7.11 after Etsy fees. So I think that would be a good starting price to have for the small tote bag. For the medium tote bag, I would recommend selling it at $24.99. And I'm not saying that you should sell all of these. You can definitely sell just one size, but you could sell all three if you wanted. And so if you sold it for $24.99, again, you'd make about $7. And then for the large size, I would sell it at $26.99. And that cost was the $16.29 for the large tote bag. So you'd make about $7.69 profit. And then when it comes to the canvas tote, since that was a little bit less expensive, you could really sell it for anywhere from $18.99 all the way up to about $23.99, since it was only $9.60. After Etsy fees, you could sell this tote for $19, which is a super competitive price, and still make the same $7. But if you sold it for $23.99, then you could make you know eleven dollars and sixty six cents profit after Etsy fees off of every single tote bag sale. So going over the overall rankings as far as quality goes, I think they're really tied. I think they're both very nice, and the print quality came out great on both of them. As far as options go, the all over print tote bag definitely wins considering you get three different sizes. You can change the background color, you can add patterns for all over prints. So depending on what you're looking for, this one definitely has way more options available. But then the canvas tote, like I said, is probably more of what people typically are looking for with a tote. So I think they both have their benefits, but when options come into play, the all over print tote bag really won this category. For pricing, like we just went over, the all over print tote bag goes from $13.25 all the way up to $16.29, whereas the canvas tote was only $9.68. So the canvas tote had much better profit margins for you. On shipping times, the canvas tote wins again with only four days for shipping time compared to the six days for the all over print tote bags. So overall, if you're just going to be repurposing your t-shirt designs, I'd say go ahead and go with the Port Authority canvas tote bag. But if you are really wanting to go for more colorful, larger, all over print designs, then go with the all over print tote bag. I don't think you can go wrong with either of them. They definitely both have their disadvantages and advantages, but both are very nice. I hope this video was helpful to you and that you add lots of tote bags to your store and the items that are already working and make a bunch of extra sales this year. 
And as always, I do have my one-on-one -on -one coaching calls and shop reviews available in the description. I am still offering those at this time. So if you'd like to set up a game plan meeting for getting ready for the holidays, how to go with your workflow, or see if your shop's even going in the right direction, then feel free to book one of those with me below. And as always, thank you so much for staying until the end and supporting my new little channel. I appreciate all of you and I'll see you in the next one.